Hi guys, this is Paul. A few years ago I upgraded my press from this 650 to this 1050. I used the 1050 primarily for loading 9mm and other pistol calibers. It has an auto drive and it can crank out the ammo at over a thousand rounds an hour. I have just recently started playing around with precision rifle shooting and I thought I'd use the 650 to load that ammo. However, prior to starting I noticed that there were a number of videos out there saying you had to tighten up some features of the 650 like the shell plate or the die plate which is kind of loose. So I got this kit from uh, Unique Tech where you can put in some screws. Today we're going to put those screws in and remove the slop from this die plate. Here you can come up and see how much it moves close up. As you can see with the pins the die plate does have a lot of slop in it and the goal is to replace these pins with screws and thus it'll be pinned to the top and have less movement and be more stable and I'll get more precise load. Now let's go out to the shop or my garage <laughs> and drill and tap these. I'll see you out there. Well, we're out in the garage shop now. What comes with the kit is an insert tool, a drill bit, a tap, an Allen wrench, and a little handle to use on the tap and the insert tool, along with screws, washers, and threaded or inserts. The first step is to drill out the two holes with the supplied drill bit. If necessary, they say to deburr using a quarter inch drill bit, but mine doesn't seem to really have any burrs on it. They recommend putting a little oil on the tap. It's actually going through this aluminum pretty easy. One down. Two down.
all cleaned out. Now we put the inserts in. One in. go. Now back inside, let's uh, go to the press and give it a try. And we're back at the press. And it fits in still. Now the two screws. And it is successful and it works. It snugs it up very tight. And there's no movement up and down at all. So where does this really make sense? Well, if you're loading pistol, I'm not sure it makes any sense. You're shooting typically at ranges where the little bit of variance that you get won't make any difference. However, if you're reloading for rifle and shooting at three, five hundred, thousand yards. Yeah, I think tightening up your standards, this kit would make sense. Also, it would make sense if you have multiple tool heads already. I have three. So it made more sense to get this kit and do the inserts than buy new tool heads that already have inserts in it. Anyways, I'm going to give it a try. The next video will be on uh, reloading 223. Thanks for watching.